Divine Grace School is a caring and loving institution which offers only the best education a school can provide. Alongside, they take note of the holistic development of a child as they give a good point in enriching the student's values and skills. These challenging times let's go back on how our dear creations reminisce their joyful experiences. What are the life lessons Divine Grace School has taught you? Divine Grace School has taught me compassion, humility, patience, and perseverance, all of which fueled me to strive for excellence and helped me forward my career as a public servant. Whatever I am today, I owe it to my alma mater. Thank you to my Divine Grace family. May you continue to cultivate and inspire students for the many generations to come. I am Rema Incarnation from Batch 2019 to 2020 from the STEM strand. Divine Grace School has taught me to focus on progression instead of perfection. What are the things that you miss in Divine Grace School? Hi, there are many things that I really miss in my alma mater. First, I miss my classmates. I also miss the classroom where we usually study, the canteen where we eat and buy foods, those approachable staff and friendly guards, and also those teachers that serve as the medium of our knowledge. But what I really miss most is being a high school student again. What are you being thankful for? I am very thankful to DGS because they made me feel like I am a part of a family and community rather than a workplace. That's why I also considered the school as my second home. My colleagues also shared with me their passions, expertise, and encouragements for me to become a better teacher. But let me clear you this, that teaching is not a perfect profession. There are days I feel like exhausted, emotionally tired, but what keeps me going? It's when I get a hug and receive some sweet words from my students. That's why I am really grateful for the way students inspire me. Truly, there is no greater honor than having a role with their development. So the school's team next year is DGS Steadfast at 33, resiliently embracing the new now. So I encourage everyone to work together to continue learning delivery through various means. At the end of the day, education is still important to pass through the challenge of this pandemic. Why did you choose Divine Grace School? To have a quality education, we must have a credible institution. And that's why we chose Divine Grace School. Amidst this pandemic, we stepped forward as this year's theme says, BGS Ted Passa 33, resiliently embracing the new now. Well, talking about 33 years of Divine Grace School, allow me to share with you, this is 33 years old natin, um, what is our theme for the year? By the way, why are we um, making this theme yearly? Uh, we are not doing away with our mission and vision. However, each year, the administrators um, formulate the theme for the year, which is relevant as we respond to the needs of the times. So, parang taon-taon na babago yan. Because we would like to find a tool where we can anchor what is needed for the year. So, this year, our theme is well, for the first part, we'll talk about the team, and the second part, we'll talk about the learning continuity plan. Am I clear? Am I loud and clear? All right. So this year, our theme is DGS Steadfast of 33, Resiliently Embracing the New Now. Steadfast because we are resolutely, dutifully firm in unwavering in embracing the challenges that we have at hand. Of course, resilient because we are able to bounce back. Ito na kami agad. Hindi na nagpatumpik-tumpik, lalaban tayo. So that attitude brings us to our characteristic as resilient as we embrace the new now or the new normal. The old normal, it's gone. So what is this new now all about? The new normal 
as published in the star, I have seen this and I have lifted this from the website of the star. New normal may mean wearing face masks at all times, especially when you go out. Because it is the way of transmitting the virus, right? So, or your employer might ask you to work at home. Some of you may be working now, pero medyo sinigoy ng kote yung pag-seminar, but you are all working at home. And there will be a lot of virtual meetings just like this one. Um, increase in sanitation and cleaning everywhere. That's why in online, in all our online uh, social media, lagi may nagbebenta ng alcohol sa kamat. Diba? Because we really have to sanitize and sanitize and always wash our hands because that's one way of preventing the transmission of the disease. We also will be uh, maintaining two meter distance from everyone, especially when we are physically present with our colleagues, with our friends and our family members. We have to be, uh, we have to be respectful about the space of our colleagues and our other relatives because this is where we can prevent the transmission of the disease. So there will be temperature check. So this new normal brings us to our change of behavior, of course. Like we don't see often our colleagues, our co-workers, and our relatives. We, we are just confined with our family. Medyo nakakasawa din po, pareho na nakakasama natin, pero it's a family bonding, right? And what are the attitudes or what are the behavior that we are able to develop through this kind of new normal? It teaches us em uh, empathy. Natuturoan niya tayo maging mag-empathize, lalo na sa iba't ibang sitwasyon ng mga uh, effect ng ating uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Marami ang mas hindi fortunate sa atin. There are those who lost their family members, their loved ones because of the disease. And also patients. Yeah, diba? I hope you are able to realize that na virtue. Patience is virtue. Pagpila pa lang sa grocery, diba? Hindi na tayo na-allow. Even to sa drugstore, medyo kailangan may pila. So we are we are able to develop patience now. Also, compassion. Compassion, being kind. So sa lahat ng instances, itong tatlong virtues na to, parang kailangan na nating dala. Otherwise, tayo yung unang talo. Like, hindi ka makaintay, galit ka kaagad. Sino unang talo? Eh, pare-pareho naman tayo na crisis. Diba po? So, with this new normal, these three virtues are important. As we, eto na tayo, we go distance learning with our schools because we cannot send our students physically together. Alright? This brings us now to our Team. Ang team natin sa taon na to, tayong lahat po ito, hindi lang si teacher, hindi lang si principal, hindi po si students lang, lahat kahit ng mga magulang, we wish that you embrace this one so that we can put it in our character. Yung DGS is steadfast at 33, resiliently embracing the new now. Iba kailangan naman natin talagang harapin ito. Together, kaharapin natin. Alright, so before natin puntahan yung sa ibang topics natin, allow me to walk you through dun sa pinagdaanan natin. No? Mabilis lang ito. Uh, March 7, yan yung first confirmed case ng transmission. March 9, na-stop na yung classes. Hindi natin na-realize. That's a Monday. Natin na-realize. Last day na palang pasukan yun. Dapi -dapi, ang dami-dami pa dapat gagawin. March 13, all the faculty members and teachers, last na day na nilang nag-report. And March 16 to April 30, start na nung ating lockdown. So even during holidays, there, lahat naman tayo nasa lockdown pa. Uh, during the Holy Week, walang nag-practice ng ating mga religious uh, practices. And April 20 to 30, all other uh, administrators and teachers are working at home. So, continuous pa rin yung aming communication through chat and messaging and texting, SMS for all the closing out activities and also part of planning. At this point, by April 20 to 30, my DGS task force na nabuo, ang Board of Trustees. This task force is still composed of the administrators in school. 
pero iba yung task. Kailangan merong mag-respond sa crisis. How do we address this? Yan. So, by May, 20, May 7, nag-declare na ng um, congratulatory ang ating DepEd Secretary. This signals the closing of the academic year. Nag-close ng May 7. So, by May 11, nag-release naman na sila ng calendar. This signals now the start of the new academic year. This is very vital to us kasi ito yung nagsasignify na, okay, we are allowed to open and offer schooling. Before, maraming nag, 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 nagdadalawang isip, but wala na lang pasok, wala lang pasok. Okay lang yan, isang buong taon. Hello guys, parents, one year? Sa ngayon pa lang yung ating mga anak, I bet, lalo na sa mga 16 years old ninyo, 15 years old ninyo, nakakapanibago na rin yung behavior nila. For all you know, baka meron kayo hindi kinakausap dyan, baka mentally, yung mental health nila para nade-depress na, hindi lang kayo masyadong aware. But with one year na walang gagawin, I don't think so. We cannot waste one full year. That's why, Noong May 15, nag-roll out na ng task ang mga task force. Nag-umpisa na po kami yung kumilos. So, let's jump. Ano ba yung mga ginawa ng task force na to? Alright, this is what we have crafted. Gumawa po kami ng roadmap on how we can achieve to continue the education at Divine Grace School. So, last May, so let's see. Sa A, the student readiness. Meron naganap na survey, pagkuha ng data, how are the students, what kind of gadget do we have. I hope some of you were able to answer the survey. And this July, we are maintaining the student-teacher bonding. So, they're keeping in touch with the students. Uh, we hope that by August, ito na yung mga training natin. With regard homeschool communication, this July, and dito na tayo, we are doing the orientation. Just like the one we are having now, although this is not yet, hindi pa po ito yung parents' orientation talaga, this is more of informing you ano ba yung plano ng Divine Grace School. So, we hope to establish more communication with you. Sa crisis, di ba, sabi nila, ang pinakamahalagang tool na panlaban sa isang crisis ay ang malinaw na komunikasyon. So, we have to be very cognizant of that, aware of that. With regard our employee, so from May up to July, up to August, na, na mo monitor po sila. We have to safeguard also our own um, safety and all our, our own security, lalong lalo na sa pandemic na kagaya ng ngayon. We have gone through this one, information and dissemination to the staff. So, Noong June naman, ito po, inventory or staffing or the job description. With this kind of pandemic, their parents, um, wala po kantin ng school. So, nasaan yung mga empleyado ng kantin? So, this is what we call now the cross-skilling and reskilling. Some of the regular uh, employees in the kantin are now diverted into helping in the uh, mimeographing section, maintenance, etc. So, this is one way of surviving. Yung tipo mo, sana lahat may trabaho pa rin. May pagkukuhanan ng uh, hanap buhay, di ba? So, also this July, we are now training the employees in the broadcasting, announcement, and some of our maintenance, some blood, natuto na rin silang mag-Facebook because it is the easier way to communicate aside from SMS. So, we also have the hygiene trainings, the restroom. This is supposed to be habit forming. As of now, um, Nurse Cell is with us. Kasama na po siya sa frontliner. And she is tasked to remind everyone about physical distancing. Even if nasa school kami, kalahati lang ng mga employees are reporting every day. So, on shifting, um, Nurse Cell is always reminding us, aside from those uh, you have seen in our Facebook that we have published, so social media, the measures that we have done, may lababo, may spray, may thermometer, or thermal scanner, may own stump mat, may own alcohol everywhere, may shield sa lahat ng mga tables, and all of those measures that we have started, still, we need to be reminded, and the habit should be formed. 
the same is true we hope that you will be doing also with your children so this is with regard the uh, employees now read about the safety and security last say um june june pa rin, we have finalized and revisited revisited and finalized and revised some of our handbooks and adjusted um, the procedures with regard online and distance learning. So, kailangan talaga bisitahin natin yung ating student handbook, um, anti-bullying policy of the school, the data privacy of Divine Grace School, and also the child protection policy of the school. We have to adjust some of the policies there so that it should be aligned with what we, are be, we will be facing, especially with distance learning. Of course, we also have rolled out here. You will see the yellow part. Meron pong routine clean up and check up of the sanitation of the school so that we can curve the um, spread of the disease. So now, this is now the learning plan. As early as May, through the survey, we already have surveyed some identifiable and doable measures on how we can respond to this kind of distance learning. Ano ba ang magandang modality in our community? So we have this um, survey and then June we started training with the administrators and this July we will be training the teachers for the use of the learning management system. We have synchronized the maps with the uh, most essential learning competencies by DepEd. I will discuss to you more about this MELC. So, ito pong highlighted color. We are now doing this. Yung mga teachers natin gumagawa na po ng mga modules and they're starting to do also the budget of work or the working plan. And there are, so, there are also some tryout of the protocols of the different learning modalities. So, tryout meaning tinatry na namin, inaaral na namin. Just like this Zoom, this is also part of our learning. And, all right, so I think we will be discussing next about our um, continuity, learning continuity plan. But before I proceed to that part, um, I think Ma'am Christelle will be showing us something. We are, we are now moving on to our second part. Yes, ma'am. Am I too fast? No, ma'am. Okay. Am I clear then? Kasi medyo, I'm not so sure about my voice. Your audio is clear, ma'am. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Ma'am Kester. So, let's move forward. Um, medyo ma second part na po tayo. Um, we would like to let you know about what are our plans with regard to uh, learning continuity. Schools plan on the learning continuity. Paano ba natin tinitignan ang pag-aaral sa Divine Grace School? We called it DGS Flexible Distance Education, a hybrid approach. Flexible is there kasi kailangan natin maging flexible. Pabago-bago yung sitwasyon natin. Di ba, noong March, iba yung sitwasyon noong May. Noong sitwasyon noong April, na lahat tayo naka-lockdown, biglang nag-iba na rin ngayong June. Hindi natin masabi, ano kaya sitwasyon pag nagpasokan na sa public? Baka may maiba rin. So, flexibility should be there. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin flexible ay we will do away with our mission and vision. Nakafocus pa rin tayo kung ano yung dapat natin i-achieve. And this is the MELC. Later, I'll discuss about that. And why is it also hybrid? Because we are combining two. Two modalities. Alright, so this is one. Distance learning, pag-aaral ng mga bata na nakahiwalay ang mag-aaral at ang kanyang guru. Ito ay isang um, pag-define ni Ma'am Padolina ng um, UP Open University sa, kay sa kanyang isang aklat ng 2015. Dalawang uri ng distance learning. Ang una ay online e-learning. Ang pangalawa ay modular. Sa online learning, eto yung mga yun, dalawa ang uri ng online learning. Maaaring synchronous learning, eto yung nagaganap ng real time. So, ibig sabihin, sabay-sabay um, na naka-online yung mga bata at nag-uusap, maaaring nasa isang classroom sila. 
kung ita translate natin ito sa Facebook, it could be like you are in a chat room. That's synchronous. When you are chatting in a chat room, you are communicating with your friends. That's synchronous. Um, asynchronous naman is you are working online, but you are not communicating with your friends real time. Real time yung at the moment. So, nag-aaral ka on your own. Like, nag-view ka ng video ng sarili mo. Nag-answer ka ng mga worksheets online sa learning management system ng sarili mo. That's asynchronous. So, dalawang uri ng online. May kasabay na nag-aaral at parang nasa classroom. At yung isa naman, you on your own. That's asynchronous. So, pagdating naman sa modular learning, eto po yung mga modules um, written or hard copies of the actual worksheets are brought home. So, inuwi ng mga bata yung mga modules nila. So, this may be in the form of modules, bookworks, or handouts. And it encourages the student to be learning independently. Sa ating senior high school, kaya na po nilang gawin ito. No? Uh, ang modules po kasi, pag ginawa po yan ni teacher, parang nakikipag-usap sa kanya yung kanyang teacher sa binabasa niya. Halimbawa po, module number one, aralin tungkol sa uh, mga bahagi ng um, halaman. Halimbawa, tapos lalagay niya doon, ang unang-unang mababasa ng bata ay parang nagsinahumusap yung teacher sa kanya. Magandang araw sa iyo. Kumusta ang araw mo? Nakapagbasa ka na ba ng aralin mo sa nakaraang araw? Mga ganon. So parang the, the module is talking to them. And it will guide them as they go through the module. It will guide them about their learning. So there is independent study supposed to be. So ano ba yung plano natin tungkol sa modules na to? Malamang napapaisip kayo, printed? Ano ba yan? E di magiging ano yan? Baka may COVID pa makakarating sa amin. Hindi po ganon. Um, nakalagay dito sa ating gawing ibaba, tuwing Thursday, mag-check na tayo ng printing and checking of the modules. So kung handa naman na yung mga module natin dyan, edi ipapak na lang na teacher. And then Friday, ang mga modules ay ilalagay na sa isang pigeon hole or sa konteksto ng ating mga gamit dito, merong bookshelves nalalagyan ng label ng grade 11 gas, grade 11 oil, ganyan. So, ilalagay na po doon, naka-plastic na, naka maaaring lagyan ng pangalan ng bata yung plastic. And then, Monday po ang kukaan. So, kung dalawang araw naman na yung lumipas, eh assured na tayo nag-disintegrate man yan kung may COVID man yan at wala namang ibang humawak, nag-disintegrate na si COVID. Opo. Oh, oh. And then, as you come here to get the modules of your children, maaari namang ibaba or iiwanan nyo na yung mga modules na natapos nila nung nakaraang linggo. At the same time, si teacher naman, pipick up na niya yan, maaaring Tuesday or Wednesday na. Okay? So, maaaring mga may tanong kayo later tungkol sa, paano yan? Layo-layo namin, kaya nga ako nag-distance learning eh. Kung may mga internet naman, pwede natin ipadala yan kahit online. Kaya lang kasi marami po tayong mga estudyante na hindi naman talaga walang capacity for the online. Kaya ito po yung ating uh, paraan no? para makapagpatuloy sila at nakakasabay sila kung ano na ba yung nagiging lesson. So another one is yung Google Suite for Education. At lahat po yan ay malamang dyan tayo bubuo ng mga magiging classroom nila. Uh, we are already studying the interface of that, kung paano aralin. Ako mismo, na-try ko na gumawa ng aking classroom at ang aking mga studyante ay ang uh, mga fellow administrators ko sila, Ma'am Priscilla. And it's easy to use. I believe the uh, public schools, they're also using this one. And also, uh, magiging platform din po kasi yan sa mga homeroom. Mabawa, mag-meet si teacher na hindi naman class yung pag-uusapan or subject, kundi ang homeroom. So, pwede nilang gagamitin itong platform na to. And other video conferencing apps like this Zoom and Google Meet and many, many, many others. So, to substantiate yung dalawang nauna na natin na learning app, your learning management system at saka yung sa Google Suite, dalawa po yan na pinaka-basic. Bakit po dalawa lang? 
para po hindi tayo masyadong malito. Kasi meron kayong memorizing na, ang bata po pala, ang bata ay memorizing na email niya sa Zoom at password. Email niya sa Google at password. Sa Genio, mayroon din siya ulit magiging account, may email siya doon at may username at may password. So, sa, sa pinipresent ko sa inyo ngayon, parang tatlo pa lang yun na pag-uusapan natin. Baka mapapadami pa yun. No? So, let's move on. What are the main minimum uh, most essential learning competencies na sinasabi ko? Uh, in the past two years, ang um, DepEd ay talagang bumubuo na ng MELC. Pinipili lang nila kung ano yung mga nararapat na competencies o yung mga tasks o yung mga characteristics ng bata na dapat natututunan niya. Halimbawa, ang isang senior high school ay dapat nakakagawa ng sarili niyang essay. So, na express niya yung kanyang gustong sabihin through essay. So, isa yan ng mga competencies na sinasabi. Ngayon, ang DepEd ay gumawa na at pinili niya yung nauna na ng mga listahan ng competencies. Pinili lang po ngayon yung most essential. Kasi sa, sa situation natin na kami mga guru ay hindi namin nalalapitan yung mga anak natin, medyo may limit. May, kaya po may bawas, binawasan, pero yung pinaka-essential ay inilagay. Kagaya nung nakalimbawa ko, ang isang senior high school student ay may kapasidad dapat pagkatapos niyang mag-graduate ng grade 12 na makapagsulat ng essay. Essay niya, nasasabi niya yung nasaloobin niya at maaaring nakaka-persuade siya. Nakaka-persuade, meaning nakaka-convince. Itong mga competencies na ito, kakailangan niya yan kapag graduate niya or kapag nagnegosyo siya. Paano kung ang pinili niyang kanyang karir ay mag-vlog or kaya influencer o kaya ay mag-maintain ng isang website? These are the skills that they need. Diba ba? Yung mga ganon. So, most essential, ibig sabihin, pat pinakonti. Pinakonti pero essential. We can still function. We can still, uh, pwede pa tayong makipag-competensya sa ibang mga nasyon kung ganito yung ating mga kompetensi. So, ito po yung focus ng DepEd ngayon. Now, with our curriculum maps, we have already um, formulated this one. Pinag-merge po yan, pinag-synchronize so that the character of Divine Christ School is still there. So, yung soul ng education ng Divine ay nakapalog dun sa ating curriculum map at pinagsama dun sa ating MELC kaya magiging uh, yung Korean ang magiging curricular content ng ating pag-aaral. 3 to 4, life is skill time, do it yourself, project making, and then 4 to 5, authentic task. Ito po yung pagtulong sa household related task na mabibigyan din sila ng performance grade. And then 5 to 7, personal time. This will be the time with you, with the family, probably prayer, mindfulness exercises, and then at 7, they eat dinner with you. And then 8 to 9, may study time pa rin. So 9 o'clock up to 6 a.m. the following day, mahaba-haba naman yung tulog nila. Or kung gusto pa nilang mag-gain, pwede rin. However, ayan po yung routine nila, sana masusundan natin. No? Uh, this is just sample for now. Mabibigyan po kayo ng specific timetable or schedule lang yung mga anak when we meet during the parents' orientation. Alright, this is also a sample of their weekly schedule. Um, for week two, example, for week two, those uh, with color, itong mga medyo dark color na subjects, Filipino Math, Aring Limpanipunan, and, and TLE, yan yung this week ay mamimit nila synchronously. So, so, parang may focus at saka hindi po masyadong isang buong araw ba pag-uusapan niya yung eight subjects niya? It's not like that. So, kailangan din natin iba-iba, ano siya, um, para hindi siya loaded. Kung yung MELC nga, dinecongest, di ba? So, ang araw-araw din ng ating estudyante, grade 7 to 10 naman na ito, uh, eh, mamima, may subject sila specific, pero hindi lahat nag-sabay-sabay na in one week ay mini-meeting sila or nag- nag live conferencing sila. All right, what will be the subjects for junior high school? Ito po 'yan. Nawala na po ang computer and CAT. Meron pa rin tayong ESP, 
Those in purple, yan po yung mga may books. I'll discuss to you later po. Sana po doon sa mga nagre-raise hand and if you have questions in mind, you that jot them down and then masasagot po natin later. How are we going to assess their performance? Ano yan, Ma'am Waldi? Ako na po ba magkakandak ng quiz sa bahay? Baka yun po yung tanong ninyo. We will have our way. Since ang focus naman ng K-12 is more on the performance task, performative assessment, and the summative assessment, we will have way on how we can assess them. Ang performance task po kasi is, it says there, what can the students do with what they have learned? So, bago pa po nagka-pandemic, ganyan na po yung performance task na yan. So, we will be de uh, developing rubrics on how we can assess the students in their performances. So, halimbawa po, dance performance. Natutunan niya na ito yung mga uh, iba't ibang folk dances sa Philippines. So, what can you do with that knowledge? Yun yung performance task. O kakayanin ba niyang isayaw din ang tinikling? Iyan po ang performance task. Ang formative naman, yun po yung mga possible ay quiz, the teacher magkakandak ng quiz online while, while they are having their synchronous online meeting or probably pwede rin oral, or check, oral checking or evaluation during their conference. Pwede siyang mag-raise hand, magpa-recitation, things like that. And summative assessment naman, para yan po yan yung mga quarterly tests nila. You might be asking, kaya bang gawin yan sa Google? Yes. Kaya na pong gawin yan because there are some quizzes which you can launch and then you just give them um, some hour, like one hour to access. And after nilang na one hour, pwede mo nang isara. Ganun. So, so the cheating will be minimized. O kaya may ibang sasagot, medyo ma may minimize. So on. So with regards to the weights naman or grade components, we will wait for the DepEd to release. Kung meron silang ibibigay na bago po. As of now, medyo wala pa po sila binibigay sa weight. So that is related to the grading system. All right, um, grade seven to eight, uh, we would like to inculcate in them because we are distant, we don't see them, walang face to face, hindi mo nakikita yung um, sumisilip ng ganun. <laughs> Ang mamop yan. yan. Academic honesty. So, how do we inculcate academic honesty? One, constant monitoring by the teacher and the guardian about the daily routine. Kapag nagtanong si teacher, oh, nasaan na kayo? Oh, ikaw, ano? Mary, Mary, saan ka na? Are you done with module 2? Are you on page 6 now? Ganyan, di ba yung mga tanong? With you being present, nakatabi nila, pag ang sumagot siya, yes po, pero hindi pa pala. Ayun, doon tayo mag-check. Kasi very little instances where we can inculcate being honest. Okay. Number two, constant monitoring and feedbacking on student performances. This would be more on us, the teachers. Na kapag may sinamit, bigyan mo agad ng feedback so that nakakorek. And number three, students must properly cite the sources of in all their works. Hindi po copy-paste because that's not good. When you copy or already and you own somebody else's work, it's stealing. Kaya po hindi po siya advisable. That's plagiarism. When they go to college and they make their thesis, naku, mahirap na siyang ituro kapag hindi nila matututunan ngayong grade 7 to 10 nila. Alright. Parents, look at this picture. Look at the big person at the middle. Ang sabi niya sa sarili niya, I have more than one kid. I have some limited resources. I will not raise my child. Math and science? <laughs> o din yan, math. Takot sa math. I have work to do para ganito. With this guy, ganito ang sinayo natin sa Philippine education. At first, we freeze. Diba? Ganon yung reaction ng mga parents. Madami po talaga eh. Wala talaga. Hindi ko pa papasukin. Stop na lang sa isang taon. Patay. Maawa naman kayo isang taon. Mental health ng bata. Ano gagawin niya maghapo? Tulog ng tulog lang. You know, I have observed in some of the teenagers, I have my son, maghapon tulog, sa, gising sa gabi para maka-games, which is no longer healthy. Tayo nga po na mga adults, di ba, when we were in lockdown, ay nagkakaroon ng depression. How much more with them? Kaya po para hindi po siya talaga very wise if some parents would decide na 
stop schooling. Please don't. Please. Please. Lumapit na lang po kayo dito pag usapan na. Pero huwag niyo silang pa-stop schooling. And also, if you decide na, okay, I decide I go to uh, to there. And the other, it's free anyway. Naku, kung may capability naman po kayo, why do you have to go there? 50 to 60 students or 40 students in one class. Kung sa face-to-face -face nga, para ang hirap na nilang ma-memorize, how much more sa distance? How much more would they know the students na, di ba po? So, I hope you'll think well about that. Now, going back to this, so with this pandemic, we froze and then we resist. And then umandar na, May, June, July na. Do we still, I don't, uh, wala pa rin gagawin. <laughs> we realize, no, we have to move, we have to do something. Because maybe this COVID is teaching us something. It is teaching us to be resilient, to be patient, to be empathic, to be compassionate. All right, challenges. So what are the challenges? Di alamin natin kung ano challenges natin para lang natin kung paano lalaban. So nagkaroon ng resurgence sa locality. Uh, we'll wait for the IATF to declare kung meron ulit MSCQ. Or issues in gadgets. Ma'am, kasi tatlo anak ko, iisa ang laptop namin. Paano na yun? May sagot tayo dyan later po. Poor connectivity for teacher and the learner. Yeah. Okay. Madyo wala masyad tayong... Kasi po dito sa atin, since we only have two... Um, Telecom companies, hindi pa po dumating yung pangatlo. May medyo slow po talaga yung mga connection sa atin. Pero, we will find ways. Malilawa natin later. Or, maaari may delay distribution of learning materials. As I said, flexible tayo dapat. At tayo ay magiging, ano, uh, we will find way on how we can address uh, concerns like this. So, constant communication lang with the teachers. Number five will be low compliance of students with regard their academic requirements. Ayan ulit, kailangan partner po tayo dyan. And learning environment at home. Um, kailangan yata mag-recalibrate, mag-rearrange ng mga house furnitures para mabigyan ng space yung mga learning space ng ating mga students. And the establishing of the routine and independent learning. Um, I appeal to you, parents, grade 7 to 10, ngayon pa lang, uh, almost one month before the schooling, turuan na natin yung mga anak natin ng routine, ng pagising ng maaga. Nakita niyo po yung schedule kanina. Kung yung anak natin ay pala tulog sa umaga and then gising sa gabi dahil yun yung time na maglalaro naman na siya, medyo iunti-unti na natin po siya bigyan ng routine na gising sa umaga so that parang schedule niya parang pasok na rin po. Para po, when the uh, schooling starts, ang ating task na lang is more on coaching. Hindi na tayo dun sa mahirap gisingin, hindi na tayo dun sa kain ka na, gawin mo na to, kundi na dun na tayo sa, oh, ito na isunod mo, ito na isunod mo, ganun. Alright? So, we can avoid that, itong situation na to, look at mommy, so this is this would probably the common scenario with us because we are working at home and our children are also going to study at home. Pero maayos po yan if we look at this one, our roles. The teachers will provide the content and monitor and guide the children, provide moral support. Of course, this can be done through constant communication with them works hand-in-hand hand with the parents or kung sino man yung kasama nila sa bahay and provide help desk like hindi makalag in can you help me with this the teachers as 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 they can kung kaya nilang sagutin they will answer and then the class advisor will manage the classroom for the section what are the roles of the parents provide materials for the students the study space the device the gadget the connectivity Help the learner establish the routine. Kagaya nung sabi ko previously, laging routine po yung important. 
and assist the advancing of the learning objectives, monitor and guide the learner in their daily tasks, help in the management of the schedule, and maintain communication with us. Okay? Look at this. Ito po yung sagot doon sa mga nagtatanong ng gadget. Paano ba yan, ma'am? Ganito po lang ang kaya namin. Look at the smartphone. Ano ang capabilities ng isang smartphone? It is mobile, may office tools, may camera, may photo editing, may audio and video recording, may video conferencing. Kapag tablet, pareho. Tignan nyo po pareho. Sa laptop, pareho. Ang pinagkaiba lang, portable din si laptop. Meaning, kayang i-carry kahit saan. Desktop, pareho din po pala. Oh. Ang kaibahan lang ni desktop, ang limitation niya, hindi siya pwede igalaw. Diba? So, most of our phones and gadgets now, kasi nga, di ba yung cellphone mismo, this is already considered a mini computer. So, most of the gadgets now, they have, we can go on with our learning management system, even if with, with those ones. Although meron comfort, yung mga desktop, syempre po, pag nagtatype, pag ano, yun yung mga comfort niya. But going through the learning management system, smartphone, tablet, laptop, desktop, pwede. These are the schedule for the whole year. This is published in our um, social media accounts, the Divine Grace School. So we will be ending the first grading by October 21. And assessment period, ito po, yung mga assessment. There. So we hope to end the classes by April na po, next year. Important is schedules. So, enrollment po tayo and going. August 3 to 7, oh no, August 10 to 14 will be the junior high school and senior high school parents orientation. You will not come here for five days. We will just allot one day for you per grade level and we will make use of that time to learn everything. On that day, ibibigay na po namin sa inyo yung account ng inyong anak sa Genio account name and password, account niya sa Google, account niya sa kung ano-ano pang learning management system natin. And then, we will teach you how to access that here, dito sa school. And then, when you, you go home, dun nyo po makikita and then you will teach your child. Pero I bet, yung ating mga nag grade 7 to 10, kaya-kaya na po nila i-access niya. Baka tayo po yung medyo may hirap. <laughs> but we will teach you all of those there. And including po yung um, teachers, you will get to know their teachers on the, during the parents' orientation. So please take note of the following sa mga enlistment of the students when you enroll. Um, iwas din po sa pagpunta. Siyempre, hindi rin namin masyadong ina-encourage yung pupunta din kayo dito para hindi tayo gaanong at risk. Pwede po tayong mag-pay online. Just communicate. And then there are lots of numbers. We have published to you the different numbers of the school. This is for the old students naman. Ayan, pala yung sinasabi ko. Yung ating numbers, you can reach them. And andito rin po yung number ng ating school nurse. Ayan. We have placed there the school nurse kasi yung ating school nurse may direct line sa ating school pedya. If you have concerns with your child, mga naubo or may tanong, di ba po ang hirap na yung magpa-check up? We will welcome po yung mga magtatanong tukos sa mga minor mga issues. And then they will guide you kung kailangan ng punta sa ospital. Pwede po tayo mag-text sa ating school nurse. There. Now, if among these numbers, meron pong hindi sumagot, email po kayo sa info at divinegraceschool.edu.ph Direct po yan, nababasa ko po yan. Ako po magbabasa din yan. <laughs> Sumbuhin niyo po yung hindi room, hindi nagre-reply. <laughs> Lucky clear, am I still clear? Ayan. So these are the references na akin pinagalingan ng aking mga present sa inyo. And here are daw the frequently asked questions. So shall we read them, Ma'am Tel? Yes po. Okay. So for number 1, will there be trainings and webinars for as parents to orient us about distance learning? And the answer yes, is, yes, ma'am. Okay. 
trainings will be during the parents orientation so it's important to take note of the schedule of the parents orientation okay. number two can we just choose modular learning no the modality is designed to work hand in hand with offline and online approaches. Opo, hindi po yun ano parang pili lang na ako po online, ako modular hindi po. Kailangan po sila together. It's a hybrid. Kaya po siya it's a hybrid. Online and modular. And next one. What are the materials that we will be needing for this online learning? So you have to prepare the following for your child. A gadget and internet connection, organizers or reminder boards, alarms for their routine po yan, writing implements, and study space at home. Ayan. We will discuss that further pag parents orientation na po. Okay. Fourth, we will buy new gadget for our child. What are the recommended specs for Android phone, for laptop, or for desktop? Choose those that is within your capability, but as what has been presented, most gadgets have almost the same functionality. Opo, hindi po kailangan kayo bumili ng ano. Except kung kaya naman, of course, for the convenience of your child. But here are some examples, ma'am, I'll show you. Oh, ayan, no? Ito po yung for laptop and desktop. Ito yung... Um, specification na kailangan para maka-access man at least for the Google learning platform. So, for laptop or desktop, ito po siya. You can screenshot if you want kung yun ang bibili ninyo. Pero kahit hindi nyo po ipakita yan kasi lahat po ng mga laptop, they have those features eh. And for Android phone, the minimum requirement at least, ito po siya parang version 5.0 and up. And for iPhone or iPad, if you are using that, ito po yung um, iOS 11 or up. Ayan po. For the gadgets po yan. Sample lang po yan, ha? but there's no, it doesn't mean that we'll buy iPad. Mm -hmm. It's not a requirement <laughs> to buy expensive gadgets. Five po, are we going to pay less for the tuition fee since distance learning will be implemented for this academic year? There is no diminution in the fees, those that no longer apply are eliminated. Oo. So, it was so, explained. Napakita ko na yun kanina, di ba, Ma'am Tel? Yes po. Okay. Number six. How will the modules, activity sheets, handouts given to us? This may be picked up on weekly basis every Monday. Ayan, opo. Na, medyo na-discuss ko na rin yan kanina. Number seven. Since modules, activity sheets, handouts will be provided to us, does this mean there's no need for us to buy books for our child? Modules are not content-based but more of worksheets with self-taught approach. Books are still inevitable. Opo, kailangan pa rin po yung books kasi mas nandun po yung content. Although meron din yan sa learning management system pero iba rin po yung nasa books. And, pero yung ano, modules... There is no separate fee for that. That is already included. Ang module po kasi, seven, six to seven pages. Six to seven pages per subject. Kung eight yung subjects niya, makakatanggap siya ng eight pieces ng six to seven pages weekly. So, maiipon po talaga yung module sheets niya sa bahay. So, kung weekly may ganyan siya kakapal with around 40 pages, weekly po may 40 pages po siya. Number eight. Okay. Will there be clubs? Yes, we will organize the most essential student organization, which is the Student Administrative Council. But as the school year goes, other clubs may be introduced, though still to be done distantly. Yeah, or distant na lang. And number nine. Will there be school activities? Yes, buwan ng wika, foundation activities, values formation, etc. will still be conducted distantly or virtually. Baka sabihin nila, paano tayo magmamas demo? Hindi, <laughs> sasayaw po ba? <laughs> De, wala na po yun, syempre. Okay. Magsaselebrate pa rin tayo ng foundation, foundation. pero hindi na sa ganoong paraan na mamas okay. demo. Wala mang <laughs> mga pasabit-sabit ng kanta, ganyan. Opo. Yes. Number and, two. Ito, will there still be achievers? Yes, all students deserve to be recognized. recognized. Pero pa rin, yung paano, 
uh, we will wait for DepEd's ano, Apo. lalabas na memo. And last last question ko po ta sa ano, frequently asked. Apo. Will the students still wear uniform? Yes, school uniform is significant to one student's identity. There will be once a week wearing of uniform during one synchronous activity with the teacher. School IDs will also be released. Right. I'm done. We can Thank proceed you, now. So, is okay. it okay that I'll stop sharing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, thank you, ma'am, for giving us a very comprehensive discussion of the school's learning continuity plan. Let's now try to answer some of the questions. Actually, may iba po, ma'am, na na-answer na namin. Pero ito po. Um, from Miss Carmen Adapon, Hi there. May I ask po, how will distance learning give our students understanding and how will it will they enjoy it while learning, especially for incoming Kinder 2? How does how, the quantity and quality of education, how will it be applied? Uh -huh. Is it about Kinder 2? Yes, ma'am. Ah, will it okay. be possible? Kasi maliliit po. Opo, may iba po tayong conference regarding Kinder 2. Uh, iba po yung presentation natin, pero medyo segue natin. Kinder 2 talaga ang approach po ay para siya magiging tutorial. So, very few number of students. So, there will be conferencing every day. We have to make connection with the students lagi, every day pa rin. So, the teacher will have one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, as regards the understanding, may mga learning apps naman po na pwede nating gamitin. Hindi lang siya laging nag-video conference lang, nagkita at nag-usap. It's not like that. Meron tayong magagamit na mga application in the learning management system na ma-access ng bata where there will be learning. So, may mga graphics, may video, may mga gamify, games, something like that. So, I hope I answered the question well. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Adapter. Another question from Ms. Arian Bakungan. Is it an option for students or parents whether to take the synchronized or not when it comes to the online? Because there should be consideration to the simultaneous use of gadgets and internet availability. Not everyone have the capacity to provide all at the same time. Correct. Yeah, that's true. Very, very true. We are looking into that also. Po. Kaya po dun sa schedule that I have presented to you, um, it is important that on our parents' orientation, once we have released the schedule, ay manonotify po kami dun sa hindi siya, I mean, nagkabangga. Like, nagkasabay pala ng kanilang synchronous schedule, parang ganyan. We have to learn, we have, we have to be notified on that. And aside from the connectivity rin, yes, kaya po si teacher, we are training them already about differentiation. Ang differentiation is, you ask the students to accomplish this, pero maaaring maibigay niya sa'yo ng iba't ibang paraan. So, halimbawa, yung sa synchronous, sa synchronous, sorry, sa synchronous nila, if some students are not able to log in, that will be understandable. Hindi po siya minus point. No? Eh, kung palagi na siyang hindi nakakalagin, medyo mag-i-issue na yun, magiging problem na ng konti. Pero, hindi po yun ang magiging issue para hindi siya mabigyan ng maayos na grade. No? Uh, mahahabol niya yun through the modules or through their chat. Hindi la kasi talaga mga problema po yung synchronous eh, kasi magsasabay-sabay. Pero kung meron na siyang internet capability ng, let's say, gabi na, tapos na-accomplish naman niya, okay po yun makakahabol po siya sa mga ganoong pagkakataon. Or kung just the same, hindi pa rin, um, pwede naman po sa module and then magko-communicate sila. And also, we can, we are open to using the um, Facebook chat kasi talaga po yun na mabilis at medyo cheap talaga siya. Pero we will, uh, hindi po siya masyadong advisable kasi nga po, it's very informal using the social media. Pero mga last resort po yun. As I said, we will be flexible. We just maintain communication and then we can arrange ways para po ma-deliver natin ng aning nararapat sa mga bata. Amen. I hope I answered it, Mrs. Bakunga. <laughs> Another question from her, ma'am. Can the modules be sent via email na lang and we will print it on our own to make sure avoiding contact with others for health reasons? Yes, yes, yes. That's also an option, yes. 
doon sa mga hindi po nila gusto na makuha dito yung ano, we, then you can tell us so that we will not print anymore. Okay po. Thank you, ma'am. Um, question from Mrs. Roda Mansano. Paano po ang issuance ng ID? Um, we will learn, ma. We will study first how it pans out. Kasi initially, with our um, contact, si Mrs. Tungilia, she will be taking the pictures and preparing the IDs. Um, sa ngayon, hindi pa po namin siya na pag-usapan how. Pero definitely, meron tayong hard copy. Meron talaga kayong, hindi e-ID po siya. Talaga meron kayong kopya ng ID ninyo isa-isa. So, kung ang concern natin ay yung tungkol sa kung baka mayroong COVID dahil ko hawakan mo yung nahawakan ko, siguro ang gagawin natin yung matagal na po nang ilalagay dun sa isang lugar and then kapag kinuha, napala probably naka-plastic, things like that. So, we will, we will exercise proper protocols with regard handling um, like the ID. Pero pagkuha ng mga pictures, we will still discuss with, discuss with Mrs. Tungria kasi uh, definitely we will not ask your students to come. Hindi po talaga natin sila papupuntahin dito. Mahirap po. Tsaka malaking risk. Kaya po ang most likely mangyayari is through video conference, hihingan ng maayos na picture, basta maayos yung lighting, may ganun po. Okay, some more? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, another question from a parent po. Magagamit po ba lahat ng books? Kasi last year may mga hindi daw, halos three-fourth lang po, ma'am, ang na okay. discuss. Okay. Gagamitin po natin lahat, lalo po ngayon na most essential lang yung ipofocus naman nila. So, basic subjects naman po lang yung may books. Apat lang ba or lima lang? So, ang PLE, wala na po yan. Computer, wala na po. Mape, wala na po. So, mas mabibigyan po talaga kasi yung content nandoon. So, kung modules lang naman, ang modules po kasi more on instructions yung nakalagay. So, yung input ng content will be from the books. I believe po magagamit po yun. Um, we'll look into that po yung sinasabi ng mga hindi naman nagamit. Um, dahil naman ang focus natin ngayon ay the essential. So, the five subjects magagamit. Ako po. Ayan. So, ito po, may question na how much po kaya ang abutin ng books ng grade 8? So, half naman siya, ma'am, no? Ma half po. Ako, the, the numbers I have given you dun sa bookstore, please text Miss Olive because she has the, the numbers or the amount for the books. Okay po. How about the module? Can it be sent through house to house? Is there a fee for transport? Ayan. Yun, nabanggit ko po kanina, we can ano, um, ask the help of the EDL services. Sila po yung mga insured sa paghatid sundo ng bata before. Pero now, dahil wala na mga hatid sundo, ang hatid sundo na lang nila modules. Ayan. Pero we'll have to talk to them. Iba pong kausap sila. Iba po kasi silang agency, kaya ang kakausapin natin kung ipapatransport niyo po yung inyong modules, um, we will talk to them and we will arrange ano ba kanilang terms. Okay, ma'am. Ah, ito. Hi, ma'am. Ask ko lang po kung ano ulit yung oras ng online classes. <laughs> Wala po kasi ako kanina. Ay, naku, um, sample, po na pa sample pa lang yun. Pa. Oo. We will give you the very fix talaga for your class, uh, your students, section, magkakaroon na tayo kapag parents orientation na po. So, hindi mo na, I know, kailangan nilang kunin para mag-adjust sila sa mga work nila, no? So, Apo. however, we will be prepared with that by August po. Apo. Ma'am, some are asking if they can have a copy of this presentation, ma'am? Or video? Um, yeah. We are recording this, di ba, Ma'am Kel? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, the presentation mismo. All right. Apo. Okay. Uh, I think Ma'am Ivory has the email, the one that you registered with in the seminar. So we'll just send to you na lang po. Uh, give us time to gather and then merge and then isisend namin. Give us until what day today? We have a seminar tomorrow, di ba? Yes po, until okay Thursday, Ma'am. Give us until weekend para masend po namin sa inyo. Kasi we are around 91 here. O madali lang naman siguro isend, pero yung... Um, transporting, I'm not so familiar with the Zoom. I'll ask Ma'am Ivory's help. Pero, okay lang po sa inyo. We'll send through your email. 
Amen. Or maybe we can upload in the Facebook. Because ito pong video natin, yung seminar natin ngayon is recorded and we intend to upload this in the YouTube account of Divine Grace or in FB. So, mababalikan nyo po yung mga na-present sa inyo today through the video po. But I will try our best to send the email din po towards the weekend. Amen. Um, another question, in terms of mod module, ma'am, siguro clarification lang. I thought it will be delivered door-to-door -to, -door to your student. Hmm. It will be a different arrangement. Ma masyado po malawak yung ano natin. Hindi po siya feasible masyado yung pag-deliver. And there are some parents naman, they don't opt to have it delivered. Kaya po, it's better pick up na lang on weekly basis. Hey, ma'am. This one's coming from Miss Heidi Abrera. Ano pa? Hello, sorry po. Kapapasok ko lang sa meeting. Ask ko lang sana paano ang bigayan ng modules. Last time I went sa school kasi nabanggit na need pa bumili ng book. But bago ko ma-enroll anak ko, sinabi na modules lang gagamitin po. And the modules will be provided by the school. And yeah. also lahat ng gagamitin ng mga bata sa learning process. Apo, the modules will be provided. At sabi ko nga po, it's going to be like 6 to 7 pages per subject. And kung 8 yung subjects nila, they get their modules 8 pieces weekly po. Weekly po siya. It will be picked up from school. Hindi po siya mahirap po siyang i-deliver kasi there are some din that they opt not to have it ng physical na nakahawakan. Um, am I able to answer the question? Parang hindi masyado. Ano nga ba ulit yung tanong, ma'am? Ano, ma'am? Yung Did sa it, right? confusion kasi kung di na po gagamit ng libro because of the modules. Ah, hindi. Meron pa rin po tayong books. Kasi ang modules po, worksheet, it's more of a worksheet and some instruction. Pero wala po siya sa content. Kaya when, when the children answer the module, may instruction pa rin doon na go back to the article on your learning management. So, maaaring pupunta siya doon sa isang nabasa niya. O kaya babalikan niya yung article tungkol sa um, mga panang Pilipinas, mga things like those. Kaya hindi po doon, more on instructions lang po talaga yun. Amen. I'm trying to answer yung iba ma. Marami pa? Ah, uh, may plan. Yung iba po kasi pwedeng kahit per ano na lang, ma'am. Mag-type na lang po kami. Ayan. Ah, sa tuition. Ay, ito. Opo. Sa pick-up ng module, sana may in-charge po in case for pick-up ng module. Hmm, pick-up? Uh, what do you mean po yung may magkukuha dito? Siguro, ma'am. Mm, kasi yung kayo po yung mag-a-assign like pwede niyo yung papuntahin yung si ate or daanan niyo bago mag-school. It will be picked up here from the school po. Meron tayong gagawing um, cabinet na may compartment tapos per grade level nandoon yung kanilang module. Naka-plastic na po siya kung ito yung module ni Hans o di kukunin na yung kay Hans. Ganun po. Monitor naman po dito yung coming in out, in and out of parents. Kaya matsa-check po natin kung may nakakuha na. Okay po. Ilang student po ba ang isang section? Nandun pa rin po tayo sa average natin, 25 to 30. Manageable po yun sa isang Google Classroom. Okay ma'am. Another question po, during parents' orientation of... Is it through webinar also? Sa senior high school daw, ma'am? Um, it's possible that we can conduct webinar, pero we prefer po sana na you come here kasi para maturo po namin talaga yung pag-handle ng gadget, pag-open sa, sa online ng uh, learning apps. Kaya po, mas prefer po. And then we will schedule you naman, hindi naman sabay-sabay na isang daan yung nasa covered court, hindi po ganun. Uh, we will still observe the social distancing uh, provided by the IATF po. Kung kailangan nasa 20 lang or 10 lang, okay, so by batches po tayo. And when you come po sa parents' orientation, of course, we'll ask you to bring your kite phone man lang 
para doon natin ano. Pero ide-demo naman din po namin 'yon sa um at saka po yung mga password ng bata on that day we will distribute. Malamang may marireceive na po kayong sheets of paper with their account and then username and then temporary password. Tapos kayo po yung magpapalit pagdating sa bahay. Yes, ma'am. Maakyat sa akay. Uh, Do we have some ma more? Yes, ma'am. Good day po, ma'am. Paano po kung nasa ibang bansa ang student, paano po ang module? Uh, ipapadala na lang po natin online. Sasend na lang sa email, tapos preprint okay. nyo, tapos sasagutan niya, tapos papadala nyo din online. Meron po tayong ano, domain, may email tayong i-maintain pang bata at saka kay teacher. Okay po. So, I guess ano, that answered also the question of Mommy Beverly Manso about the ano po, sending of in, uh, modules through email po. So, she said it's earth-friendly since no need to yes, print and yes. save money for the delivery. Yes, that's true. Very true about environment. We have to take care of our environment. Opo. Question po, di na po ba pwedeng gamitin yung books ng grade 10 ko? Kasi meron po ako grade 9 last year. Grade 10 na din po siya ngayon. Uh, kung hindi naman po siya gamit, recycle po natin. Kung pareho naman po yung books. Opo, nasa crisis po tayo. Bakit hindi? <laughs> Di ba? Matulungan natin kung saan tayo makaka-survive. Kasi this is a crisis. We are on a survival mode. Wala tayo sa luxury mode. Hindi tayo pwede magpa... Di ba po? Pagtutulungan natin. Kung meron naman na po available, bakit hindi po? Okay po. Need pa po ba ng mga notebooks and other materials like construction, art paper, and others? Thanks um, po. As of now, yes. Pero yung ilang bera, dami. Wala pa po kami ma-recommend sa inyo. Uh, we will wait na makapag... Um, meeting po kami ng mga teachers by July 20. So when we meet the teachers, dun po namin malilist down yung things to prepare. Your, your things to prepare, hindi things to bring na siya. Things to prepare at <laughs> They will not bring it here. Uh -oh. Pero po. ngayon po, kailangan po na medyo planuhin nyo na po yung work space ng mga bata, which is noiseless. Sana po. And then, respetuhin natin kapag nag-aaral siya, sana malayo-layo sa kainan. Tapos kapag nag-aaral siya, hindi natin nuutusan. Kahit paabot lang, sana hindi. <laughs> abot nung ayon, anak, eh, nakikinig siya kay teacher. <laughs> So, sana parang tayo din pag nag-work, walang distraction. Yes, ma'am. Ano po yung fixed date ng classes? Start of classes po kaya? Ah, uh, August. Oh, Start of classes. We have targeted August 26 po, di ba? Hindi po tayo sasabay sa, sa government 24, 24, sa atin po 26. Pero even before that day, Meron na po tayong mga trainings eh. So malamang po magkakaroon na rin yung mga bata ng trial meet up online before August 20. Okay ma'am. Then another ma'am regarding books pa rin. How can we sure po na magagamit siya? Kasi po alam na natin yung sitwasyon ngayon. Money wise maraming parents po. Jack naiisip na sayang ang ipambibili ng books. Lalo na hindi din magagamit. How can we be sure na sa 2 hours po ng mga bata na pag-aaral every day is magagamit nila ang books. Meaning po ba na lahat ng pag-aaralan is mag-re-rely pa din through books tas po ang modules nila is for worksheets lang po. Thanks po. Um, it will be partnered. Magagamit po sila. Um, books po kasi as I said sa content, magbabasa po yung bata. Kaya po nasasabi ngayon sa inyo as early as now yung routine para yung mga bata like paggising, yung pisan lang natin sa paggising. Nagising pala talaga sila kapag oras ng pasok and then monitoring na tayo kapag naibigay na namin yung schedule ng bata at araw talaga oras talaga niya ng pagre-read ay magre-read siya. So that we can assure na nasusundan niya po yung ano ba yung naka-target na gagawin niya ngayong araw. Kung kailangan niya magbasa ng itong pages na to, pabasahin niya po yung pages na to. That we can assure na talagang magagamit niya po yung book. Now, from our part, si teacher, kailangan nagko-coach din siya. At the same time, when the assessment part na, yung makocover ba yung mga sinasabi din niya, may ganun po. 
Okay, ma'am. And with the help of the learning management system din. Okay. Ito po ma'am, medyo related yung dalawang nasan ba isa. Kasi kay, kay Mami Galliardo po, paano po ulit, alam ko nasagot na siya kanina, kung nasa ibang bansa ang student, paano ba ang mga module? Pwede po ba ang e-books ng module? Tapos may isa po na related. Asa na siya? Ayun, okay lang po ba? Online module na lang din po kami, pero sa Pinas lang din kami para lang din di na pumunta sa school. Thanks. Opo, opo, pwede po yan. Ipapadala po ng mga teachers sa kanila. That will be taken care of by the subject teachers na po yung sa modules. Kung kailangan isend online. Okay, ma'am. And from Miss Han Kaindek, good afternoon po, ma'am. Paano po pag may sakit or for some reason na absent ang student? Thank you po. Ayan. Uh, you have to notify po first your, the advisor and also yung ating nurse so that you will be properly assessed. And of course, magkakaroon po tayo ng remediation from the uh, initiative of the advisor para doon sa mga namiss ng bata. Kahit po nga sa DepEd, eh, if you will read the school calendar ng DepEd, may nakalagay po doon ng uh, provision that we can even conduct Saturday classes and even Sunday classes. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Sa atin din, kapag ang isang bata medyo nawala sa uh, medyo nagkasakit or absent, kailangan bibigyan siya ng remediation or it, tutulungan siya para makahabol. Pero we have to be informed para hindi po siya guluhin or hindi na siya i-reach out. Meron po. Okay, meron pa ba? Exact, when is the exact date and time of parents orientation of senior high school, ma'am? Ah, senior Siguro high senior high, baka po hindi naka-attend si ah, Mami August, kahap. Ano po siya eh. Between 10 to 14 po yung mga high school. No specific date pa po. Kasi we have to arrange that with Genio. Hey, Amen. Ma Ma'am, yung yun pong enrollment, iba po ba yun sa online registration? Medyo nalilito sila dito, ma'am. Um, yung yung pre-enlistment, pre-enlistment lang po siya pare lang siya pero ang totoong enro enrollment natin yung ORS online registration system. system. Makikita niyo po 'yun sa website ng Divine Graces School. 'Yun, meron po yung for new, meron po yung for old students. Amen. Kung so, nakapag-register kayo doon kahit na hindi pa naman kayo nakakabayad, o oh, nandoon naman po 'yun, 'di ba? Hindi naman niya nire-require agad-agad. Okay po. From Mrs. Tagle po, ask ko lang po, kapag po ba assessment na nila, online din po ba yung exam? Parang online exam po ba yun? Yes. Yes po. Kasi doon meron yung time. Doon po natin matcha-check that they will be the one answering their exams. So kung inorasan sila na in one hour, they have to finish. Ganun po yung gagamitin natin. It could be by the, through the learning management system or probably through the Google uh, Suite. For education. Okay, ma'am. From Ms. Manzo, po, provided po ba ninyo ang license ng Microsoft Office or ano po gagawin app, gag gagawin or gagamitin app for online classes? If sa Google, can we open the modules there and no need to use MS Office? Um, meron po tayong MS Office. May license po ang school na it can cater to all the students. So, pwede rin natin gamitin yan sa kanila as their email address. Pero kasi ang domain natin, sa pag-access na ng ating learning management is more on the Google. So, meron din po sila sa Microsoft. May license po ang school for that. Meron din tayo sa Google. At meron din tayo for the Genio. Kaya po nabanggit ko sa inyo kanina parang marami yata tayong ililist ng username, password ng mga bata. Yes po. Okay. Ayun, can you also give the needed specs for PCs or laptops to prevent having problems while the class is ongoing. Ayun, na-share na ko yun po. kanina. Opo. Maybe sige, we can uh, share it again, ma'am, so they uh, can I'll show it. take Thank a screenshot. Opo. Okay, sige, wait po. Uh, for a while, hanapin ko lang po. Ayan. Okay. I guess all of their questions are answered na, ma'am. <laughs> Sana na na-clarify. Uh, uh, um, is it okay for me to share now? Yes, ma'am. Apo. Alright. Wait. Na. 
Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ito po for laptop. Pa-screenshot na lang po. Uh -oh. This is for laptop and desktop. At least, at least po ito, at least makaka-access po siya for the Google Classroom. And for Android phone, ito po for Android phone. And for, okay na po to move to the next iPad. iPhone or iPad. Ano po yan? Ginugal ko din po yan. <laughs> Ginugal ko lang po yan din. Yung specs na yan. <laughs> you, can, you can actually search for that. Ano po yung mga ano. Ayan. Is it okay to stop share now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Ana, so... Ano na nila? Oh, would you uh, like po. me to go back? Would you like me to go back pa ulit? Hindi na. Hindi okay naman na ako. Maybe we can post that, ma'am, sa, so, sa FB page All right, po natin. Sige, we will. Sige po, we will. Opo. Ayan. Ayan. So, thank you so much for your questions po. I hope uh, na-clear po natin yung mga gusto, gusto nating itanong before pa po. This is really an opportunity. So, salamat po at naka-attend ang lahat. And again, we would like to thank um, Attorney Wenji Improgro, Ms. Rema Incarnacion, Mr. Carrie Maynard Olivar, Ms. Anjanet Espayos, Ms. Angelica Suarez, and Mrs. Armelita B. Suarez for their testimonies. Yung sa video po kanina. And we encourage everyone to like and follow the DGSFB page as well as the DGS Guidance Office page. School-related announcements, advi advisories, and updates are posted there from time to time. So, doon po kayo. Yung mga schedule po ng senior, ng orientation, lahat po yun, makikita nyo po sa FP ng Divine. Before we end, let's have Ma'am Waldi once again for her closing message. Ayan. So, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for patiently listening. Sana po naging substantial yung ating mga naging discussion. If there are other concerns na hindi po namin nasagot, you can message us sa FB at Yung sabi ko po, tatlong page, ano, virtues natin, patience, compassion, and empathy. Sana po lagi nating alalahanin, lalo na sa pag-handle natin ng ating mga anak. At saka sa pagharap natin sa crisis. Uh, kagaya ng sabi ko pa rin, where will we start? Sa pagharap sa crisis na kagaya ng ganito, communication is a tool. Pero the first question we ask each other is, where do I start? Saan tayo mag-uumpisa? Siyempre, kung nasaan tayo. So, hindi tayo agad-agad gagalaw kasi i-assess muna natin, especially with this kind of virus that we are dealing with, it is constantly evolving. Pabago-bago siya. Naiba yung sitwasyon nung May, naiba nung June. Ngayong July, iba na naman. Baka sa August, may iba na naman tayong sitwasyon. Kaya po, I advise you, sana po, wala mo nang galawan, manatili mo na tayo sa Divine Graces School. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mas safe, ma'am. Thank you po. Okay. So, thank you, Ma'am Waldi. And thank you also, Ma'am Ivory. Pakita ka na dyan. Hey, Ma'am. Hello. Kawai-kawai. Thank Ayan. you. Thank you, Ma'am Ivory. Apo. And thank you to all our participants as well as yung mga, I believe, nag-attend ang mga teachers po natin, no? Yes, Ma'am. Mga Ma junior high school advisors. So, thank you for taking the time to patiently listen with what we had to discuss. At kailangan, mm -hmm. kailangan po talaga yun. We wish you all a blessed day. Let us all stay safe and healthy. See you around, parents. Bye! Bye! Bye. Thank you! Thank you! They're sending messages. <laughs> Thank you po. Stay, stay healthy din po. From Mrs. Marquez. Sila na lang mag-live isa-isa. Tayo Opo. yung mag-iwan. Opo. Maiwan na lang po kami. <laughs> Thank you po. We have 27.
Dito pala si Mrs. Tombia. Yes, ma'am. She had a hard time joining po. Uh, Sir Jess had to leave. Oh. oh okay. He advised, they advise, ano eh, some of the advisors then to leave na, ma'am. Kasi some oh. parents cannot Kasi join. Kasi full na, full capacity. Yes po. yes, po. Maybe we need to upgrade this to 200 yeah. participants. <laughs> you have to shell out another 2,000 pesos for the <laughs> add-on for one month. We can remove mommy. Mm. Are we recording? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Still recorded. <laughs> tomorrow we'll have elementary naman. Only four to six tomorrow, di ba ma'am, Ivory? Forty-six. Four to six. Four to six. Oh, oh, yes po. I thought for, I heard 46. <laughs> 46 attendees. Oh. I'll be posting the link na po. Um, yeah. Okay. Opo, opo, opo. Please. Kasi baka I did not finish earlier, ma'am, kasi baka it might cause confusion po. Mm. How Tapos about for the preschool? Wala pa rin. Ah, pwede so, naman po, ma'am. Sabay na po sila. We still have 14 attendees. There's Sir Raymond. Sir Raymond is... They don't want to <laughs> leave us. Di ba po sila nagtanong? Sir Raymond is raising his hand. <laughs> Allow to speak. <laughs> Allow to talk, ma'am. Allow to talk. Hello Allow po, Sir Raymond. Talk. Sir, you're allowed to talk. Hello. Hello po lahat sa lahat po. Thank you very much, ma'am, for a very clear uh, talk and answered uh, the questions uh, clearly as well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, ma'am Badet. Hi. Badet is here. Congratulations! Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Congrats, mga professionals, experts. Ang gaganda pa. Thank you, ma'am. Maraming add-on na yung Zoom natin. Ang dami na niya. Ang gaganda. Baka may makadiscover sa inyo. Sana, ma'am. Pwede, pwede. Ang ganda. Saka, very, alam mo yun, very happy. Cheerful kayo. <laughs> Nakatuwa. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Hanggang mamaya tayo dito. <laughs> <laughs> ah, may question pa po, ma'am. Opo. May isa pa po. Is there any possibility that there is continuous education in the school even if wala po dyan sa Manilang students? Opo. Opo. Kahit po, kahit po malayo kayo, basta may connection. Connection. Oo. Pero ano po, over the time, dapat bumalik po kayo. Kasi when I ask DepEd, we cannot invite other students from other regions. Meron po kasi ako mga pamangkin, gusto na mag-enroll na lang sa Divine, pero they are from Pangasinan. Pero when I ask DO, the, the district office, hindi po nila yung na-advise kasi iba yung residence. So, ibang region na siya. Kung babalik din naman po kayo dito, Kung mag start na yung school year, wala pa kayo, you can still join. Ay, join po talaga sila. Pero over, ano, sana po makabalik na kayo dito sa Kadagam. Kasi yun ang i-register -re natin na residence ng mga bata, yung dito po. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Bakungan. Maybe may mga parents kasi ma'am na ano po, no? Halimbawa gusto nilang dalhin yung mga Gusto nila magstay sa province kasi mas safe Oo. compared here. Pero dito pa rin nila i-enroll. Oo, kagaya ng diba pamangkin ko. <laughs> Meron pa tayong mga kasama. Yes, yes Mrs. Pa. Galliardo. Andyan din. Nasa abroad din si Mrs. Galliardo. Siya po yung nagko-question dun, ma'am. Yung kung nasa ibang bansa. Oo. Oh, Mrs. Yeah. Bakongan po said, we still have a residence in Manila, but there is so much difficulty 
in traveling, especially with children. Oo, totoo yan. Especially with this kind of status we have, pandemic pa, naka-ECQ pa. Ay, GCQ. No. We're not sure, ah, ma'am, ma sa GCQ. <laughs> Oo nga. Pwedeng eh. bumalik sa ECQ. Stay safe. Diyan lang muna po. Basta ma-maintain lang natin yung connectivity and we can process everything online. Yes, ma'am. Keep in touch po. Pero balik kayo. <laughs> Baka mamaya. <laughs> Ayan, I think we are done. It's already 2.53. We extended 30 minutes, right? Yes, Pero congrats yes. sa atin. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're doing Bye. great. Congratulations, Ma'am Wildy. Ma Congrats, Ma'am. Congrats, Congrats po sa atin. We Thank still you. have two. <laughs> yes, Ma'am. Two more. <laughs> Tomorrow and Thursday. Yeah. And when can we watch this presentation again? Ay. From Mr. Bukago po. Papa-edit ko muna po yung mga sama. <laughs> Di ba yung may mga part? Gaya po nito, hindi na po na dapat a-appear. <laughs> so, i-edit muna ng konti yung video. And then, we will upload it po sa YouTube, sa Facebook. 